hello guys welcome back to culture tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix wild experts is having crushing issue it is not launching freezing and stuttering black screen low fps drop stuck on loading screen and all these kind of issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the work now so if you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe the channel for these kind of videos so let me directly get into this so the first step is all about we just need to click over here and click on this one and go for a restart the restart is what you have to do so once after doing a simple restart you can check whether the issue is solved or not this is just a try i'm not going to say this is going to work for sure but just start with a simple restart sometimes it can help you guys out so just start with this once after that if it's not moving let's move to the next step next step is all about we need to move to the verify integrity of game file for that we just need to click over here go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of files so what happens is if any files are missed and if any files are corrupted all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step and this is what we have to do so verify integrity of game file is actually an important step and sometimes if the files are corrupted and if any files are missing these can cause issues like you know uh, many issues including the crashing maybe so this is an important step so files should be not corrupted as well as it should be uh, up to date and all these things so that is why we're recommending verify integrity of game file is an important step so you should not be neglecting this particular step you should be completely doing this and just wait for this to reach 100 percentage once you reach this to 100 percentage try to launch the game for many users, in my opinion, when I updated the video on Last of Us and many other games, including uh, the small land that survived the worlds, uh, for these games, you know, most of every game, even uh, the FN22, FIFA22, Forza Horizon, all these can games, including the Payday 2, when they did this step, it helped them, so you can try this out as well. As you can see, one items failed to validate will be reacquired. So you just need to click on the backup uh, beta files and you need to make sure the game is up to date and all those things. But just do the verifying integrity of game file that is going to fix a lot of issue. So once after that, if this is not working, we need to move to the next one. That is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. As you can see, we are launching the game from the Steam. So sometimes launching the game from the installation folder did work good for many users. So I'm going to show you that. So we have two methods. One, we can easily navigate to the installation folder from the Steam itself. One, we need to navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer. So I'm going to show you this because down the road, we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using file explorer. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go to this PC. Now go to local disk C. Keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps. Go to common now from here we need to find the folder named which one we need to find the folder named this one so uh, let us find okay over here we're gonna find this up this is the folder so open this now from here you will be able to see the wild experts so launch the game from here this is what you have to do so this is how you can navigate to the folder use from the uh, i mean using the file explorer there is one more step that is launch the game from the install i mean from the steam we can navigate to that for the just right click go to properties go to local file click on browse that also redirected you to the same if you look at the location at the top that is correct now launch the game from here as well so try launch the game from the installation folder this particular step did work out for many users and you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator. So hence we are already in the installation folder. I'm going to show you this. So just navigate to the installation folder. We can use any one of the two methods. Once after that, just click on the application, right click and go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, go to run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and launch the game. This is what we have to do. Once after that, try to launch the game. Most probably, when many users, when they run the game as an administrator, that did work it for them, so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, there is one more step that I would like to add. That is, we need to run the game in compatibility mode. This did work it for many users, so I'm gonna share it as well. 
So just right click and go to show more options, go to properties, compatibility. Over here, as you can see, there is compatibility mode. So select this one, run this program in compatibility mode and set this to Windows 7. Okay, now go for apply and go for okay. Then try to play the game. If this is not working on Windows 7, change this one to Windows 8. So go for Windows 8, then go for apply and go for okay and try to launch the game as well. That is going to work for you as well. For many users, this did work it, so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to change the Windows language to English, make sure the date and time is correct and also the region is correct. So here, as you can see, I'm uh, on Windows 11, but the language is being English. Some of you guys, uh, guys might be depending on native language like Chinese, Japanese or any Windows. If that is the case, you need to change it. So if you don't know how to do this, just follow the instruction. So just go over here in the search, go for settings. So once you go for setting, if you go at the left, there is time and language. Now from here, select click on language and region. Now from here, click on add language search for language once you find or search for the language i mean search for english and make sure this is english once after that make sure the country is correct that is i'm from india so i have selected the geography india so you have to make sure as well once after that go back and make sure over here in the date and time this should be turned on the time zone should be automatically turned on as well once you set this up just close this go back and try to play the game and see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about we need to launch the game and you need to press Alt and Tab together. So try click on the play button. The moment when you have launched the game by clicking in the play button, press Alt and Tab on the keyboard. This will work out for many users without having any kind of crashing issue. So try this out step as well. Next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file. For that, we just need to go over here in the file explorer. Go to documents. Over here, if you find any folder on the game, just delete it. So you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it by deleting this street worker for many users. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to go for allow the game to Windows security. And that is what you have to do. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for control panel. Now from here, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and you need to find the game. So go to V. So instead of an alphabet, we'll be able to find over here. So just make sure this is added. So here is if you check, we'll be able to find the wild experts final beta is already added. But make sure the private is not checked. So you just have to check this. So check private and public. Once after that, try to play the game. So what to do if this is not added, just click on allow another app, go for browse. Now go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder, go to Steam apps, now from here go to common, now keep scrolling down and navigate to VX, select this one and go for open and go for add. So once added, just close everything, go back and try to play the game as well. Next one, once you're done with this one, we need to move to the next step, that is all about, we need to make sure that is we need to unplug all the usb devices so some of you guys might be playing the game especially these games with controllers connected so if that is the case just remove everything from the usb port if it's already connected to the multiple monitors remove it if it's any the usb ports if it's already connected something to it just remove everything once after that launch the game after launching the game if you wanted to play the game with the controllers after the game is successfully launched connect back the controllers and try to play the game this did work out for many users as well. Going to the next step, that is all about, we need to, uh, un I mean, we need to do this. We need to perform a clean boot. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for system configuration, go for services at the top, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for okay. Sometimes it might ask you for a restart. If restart is being asked, you just go for restart. Once after that, try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay and close all the overlay applications. For that, just click over here on the game, right click and go to properties. Make sure this is unchecked. That means you have disabled the Steam overlay. Once after that, there is the next step. We need to give the commands to the launch option and the first command is DX11. Give this command DX11, try to launch the game. Next one is, if DX11 is not working, change the command to DX12 and try to launch the game as well. Try with DX11 or DX12, try with this and most probably that is going to work for you as well. 
Next one is all about we need to close overlay as well as overclocking application. For that reason, we have to go over here in this task manager. I mean, go to task manager. Now we'll be able to find the game. Over here, as you can see, you can see these apps are actually running in the background, which I'm using actually. But these things, there is 78 background apps are running, which are I'm not actually I'm not using it, but even though still it is running, which is causing me a lot of issues like crashing. Not only for me, for all of us guys, it's causing these issues like crashing and all those things. So what you need to do is you just need to check whether you are able to find anything like this code that is comes under the category overlay applications and if you find any this code just remove it and also if any if you find anything like Riva Tuner MSI Afterburner which comes under the category overclocking application which is one of the main reason why this is happening for many of the users so just remove everything from here close everything and go back and try to play the game for many users when they close overlay as well as overclocking application the issue did fix it and you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory that is what we have to do for that we need to go over here in the search go to view advanced system setting go to advanced go for settings go to advanced once again go for change make sure this is unchecked if this is checked you will not be able to select the local disk so uncheck this and select the local disk where the game is installed so in my case it is on c so i have to select this one now go for custom size here we need to give the value initial size as well as maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is three times the total ram and you need to do the calculation based on this so i know what is my ram so if you don't know how to check the ram just follow the instruction go over here go to settings go to system at the top keep scroll down and navigate to about now from here you will be able to understood 32 gb is the ram same way you will be able to understand what is your RAM. Once you found the RAM, just go over here in the calculator. Multiply your RAM with a constant value 1024. That brings you 32,768. So you know, this is the total RAM. For initial value, multiply this with 1.5. So that brings you 49,152. So now we just need to paste it. Next one, maximum size. Maximum size is always 32 GB into 1024. That brings you this one. So multiply it with 3. That brings you 98,304. Copy this as well as paste it over here. Once after that, go for OK and try to play the game. Most probably the issue has to be fixed. Next one, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, just go over here in the search. Go for graphics settings. Now you'll be able to, fun, uh, able to find the games over here. I have already added even Crime Bows. All the games are added. Same way you have to add it. For that, just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86, keep scrolling down, navigate to Steam folder, go for Steam amps, go for common. Now from here, go to VX, so select this one and add it. Once you add it, just click on the option. Make sure this will be by default, let Windows decide, change this to high performance, go for save, close this, go back and try to play the game. Most probably this is going to help you guys out. This did work out for many users, for many games like Payday, Small, uh, not for this one, uh, Last of Us, even for the Wild Hearts, many other games it did work out. So that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to update the Windows. Make sure Windows is updated for go over here in the search, go for settings, go to Windows update at the bottom. Now make sure this is up to date and try for if you're having any KB updates and all those things, make sure this is up to date and once after that, try to launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to download and install the uh, graphics card. For that, I'll be providing link in the description that will take you to this for the both AMD as well as for the NVIDIA users. So NVIDIA users just open this and give every details of on your product, product type, product series, operating system, everything and go for start search. Now from here, you will be able to understood the version 531.41. So just download this one and uh, download this particular version on your Windows PC. Once after that, if you're on the AMD version, select the graphics card and all those things, select everything and go for submit. Once you're done with this one, you'll be getting two options. If you're on Windows 11, download this option. If you're on Windows 10, you need to download this one. Once after that, try to play the game as well. So once you're done with the, both the graphics card, both if you're on the NVIDIA updated, if you're on the AMD, just download and install it. And once after that, try to play the game. That did work out for many users. If this is not working, you need to install Microsoft Visual C++ where I'll be providing link in the description. So just download this one. If you're on x64, 64-bit based processor, so just download this one. Once after that, uh, restart your PC and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. 
And the last and the least one is all about we need to uninstall the game and reinstall it back. For uninstalling the game, just go over here, select this one, go for manage, uninstall the game. Keep in mind when you're reinstalling back the game, it should be on not on the same disk which you uninstalled. So you have to find a new local disk and install the game over there. That's going to work for you. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.